the reason everything has been a little late lately, I've been on a little vacation. You see, I got this email forwarded to me, and apparently it's from our boy Oscar. It reads, <clears throat> Prior to this moment in my life, I didn't think I was a stupid person. Now I'm a thousand miles from home, out of money, no food to eat, nothing to do. I've spent the last couple of days on somebody's property in the middle of nowhere, basically just sitting here, wondering how this even happened. Asking myself questions like, how did I end up here? Why am I in the spot I am now? I've been pooping in virtually the same area, and I think it's starting to attract wildlife. Yeah, it's some real Hemingway stuff right there. But the fact that it was all in lowercase letters and a few words were misspelled and there was absolutely no punctuation kind of scared me. So, here's a sober message to my brother. Listen up, buddy. I know you watch these videos. And I know you know me. You know I procrastinate. I do everything at the last minute, but not this time. You see, this video I posted early, three days ago to be exact, and I gave it to Mona to post today for me. So if you are watching this video right now, then I am already in your city. And not the city that you let everyone think you were going to. <laughs> you are not the only one who learned all that paranoid survivalist shit from dad. I know how you went off the grid. You think you're the only one who can burn a trail? I am smarter than you. If you've left anything out in the open, I am going to find it. In fact, I can probably name a mistake you've made already. You didn't cut your hair, did you? No, you're proud of that Justin Bieberish mop that you're way too old to pull off. So, you still look like the photo I'm showing around. Go ahead, cut it now if you want. God, I really hope you do, but you are still too late. And if this sounds like I am mocking you, like I am trying to make you run, then you're right. I am because I know exactly the places that you will run to. I know you won't believe me and you won't understand this until later, but I am doing this for your own good. You're not making adult decisions right now. You're acting like a child, like a heartbroken teenager. Deal with your misery like a grown-up. With booze. I'm going to find you. And we are going to deal with this together. There is some news that you need to know. And you need to hear it from someone who is telling you face to face. Not over the phone and not through a stupid video. We both know what happened the last time that you left. And that is not going to happen again. I am not going to let you hurt yourself. I'm going to find you, and we are going to deal with this together. I am not, I am not going to let you just disappear. <laughs>